Hello there. My name is Willy Westhuizen, and I manage the Co-op Community Trust. I'm a sociologist involved in community development since 1991. It is my passion to facilitate asset-based community development and to be part of the Co-op's vision of positive community involvement, one of our pillars of success. This video clip will encourage you to invest in sustainable community development. I hope this will inspire you to invest in the assets of your community and as a result, empowering people. The Co-op was established in 1944 and currently it has 1,600 members. For generations, the Co-op has been the one-stop shop for its members and farmers. Today, our doors are also open to the general public with 36 trading branches. One of our pillars of success is community involvement and therefore in 2016, the Co-op Community Trust was established. Our vision is to enable empowered and prosperous communities in Africa. Our mission is to facilitate sustainable development of our communities by applying an asset-based approach, focusing on socio-economic growth, training and education, health promotion and the elderly, in partnerships with employees, communities and stakeholders within our areas of operation. Our key focus areas are socio-economic growth, training and education, health promotion and care of the elderly. So what is asset-based community development? Asset-based community development is a process that focuses on assets rather than needs in order to help foster a positive mindset and help communities drive their own development process based on what they already have. This leads to very high levels of sustainability. When we consult a community, we encourage them to first identify their own assets or strengths, and then we facilitate a planning process to develop those assets. This process empowers communities to take ownership and responsibility for their own well-being and leads to sustainable community development. We do not ask for donations. We motivate people to invest in assets like our children, our students, our projects, our land, or our beautiful destinations, which are all untapped golden opportunities waiting to be unlocked. The Co-op Community Trust facilitates asset-based community development. You invest in communities by investing in us. The following projects show a few of our partnerships, incredible investment stories where we are investing our time, our knowledge and finances. I am Deidre Thompson, I am the of Soutiswaan named our Skill Center. Our children come mostly from Rainbow School and Soutiswaan is the last step for the children to the great world and step to work to create and live to build. Ons droom is om vir ons kinders wat uit moeilike omstandighede kom te help om hulle beter voor te berei vir 'n beter toekoms en om hulle te leer van besigheid. Ons projek is begin deur ons Nederlandse stigters van Rainbow School en ons projek is self volhoubaar so die besigheid groei en ons gebruik die geld om ons kinders te stuur om hulle vaardighede te verbeter. Ons produk is stroopwafels. Dit is 'n Nederlandse produk wat ons maak van bestanddele wat ons hier in Suid-Afrika kry. Dit is 'n koekie met 'n karamel stroopie in die middel. Dit is ongelooflik lekker en kan in verskillende maniere geniet word. Ons het verskeie winkels en coffee shops aan wie ons verskaf reg oor die land. Die Co-op is een van ons grootste kliënte wat die stroopafels in hulle winkels verkoop en vir elke pakkie wat verkoop word, gaan een rand terug na die Co-op Community Trust. Hi, I'm Marta Hutchinson and I am principal of Rainbow Centre. Here in Hemansdorp, we are running a school for special needs. We've got 87 children on our books at the moment. We have applications coming in all the time, so we have to choose them very carefully. Yes, yeah, so what are we doing here? We are looking after and training and supporting children that nobody else wants, that have fallen out of mainstream 
for various different reasons, they cannot get into the mainstream schooling. So we have taken them, uh, they are often the children that nobody wants to help or that nobody can accommodate. And we have a lot of fetal alcohol syndrome kids, we've got Down syndrome, we've got autistic kids, we've got cerebral palsy, we've got a f quite a few ADHD children and um, mentally handicapped. So we have a vision for each child to discover his God-given potential and to realize that he or she is special and he has some gifting. And we, we work on their self-esteem. We work on building up a skill, something they can do, something that they are good at. We try and let them discover themselves in, in this process and gain confidence, gain hope for their future and um, learn something that they are good at. We have needlework, we have some baking, we have woodwork, we have sports and yeah, it's a wonderful um, experience to see a child coming in and to just shower them with the love of God and to see them blossom. We are a non-profit organization in Jeffreys Bay, aiming to improve the lives of mothers and babies in Southern Africa. Our dream is to, to replicate this clinic all over Southern Africa. Healthy Mom and Baby Clinic has been going for 19 years, growing from strength to strength, and we are seeing approximately a thousand clients per month. And with partnership with the co-op of Human Storp, it is important for us that we can continue this type of services where they supply a salary and diesel for our mobile services. The Healthy Mom and Baby Clinic is an essential service for every community. And I believe it's not just for the community and for the people that access the services, but it's also important to have this type of facility for healthcare professionals to work in a, a place where they can live out their passion. Team Yon is a non-profit organization that supports families of children with cerebral palsy who predominantly live in township areas of Kobecha, formerly known as Port Elizabeth. We support them in a practical way through the supply of specialized equipment and therapeutic advice, as well as in an emotional and spiritual way through psychological support and prayer. During lockdown, it was apparent how vulnerable our supported families are when it comes to food security. We saw Farming God's Way as a wonderful tool to start our own vegetable garden to help meet the need to supply food, but also with the long-term goal of empowering these families to start their own small vegetable garden behind their homes or in their community. Joshua Project is a non-profit community center which focuses on providing support to vulnerable children and youth in Jeffreys Bay and Newman's Door, Eastern Cape. Established in 1998, it now serves as a drop-in center, a facility providing basic services aimed at meeting the emotional, physical and social development needs of vulnerable children and youth. We utilize the MEND methodology we come alongside the children to help them develop into self-supported adults with skills such as woodwork, barbering and sustainable vegetable growing. We teach the children that they have a valuable role to play in society and that they are valued as an individual, an asset to our community and not a victim of society. So I came home so I 13 years ago as a clear school for the place workers and kinders in a mother house begin. There is then four clear schools in a national center. Our goal setting for the school is to get clear school geriet to cry as we come with gaves and potential to develop. We work with them to help the elders to be mastered with kennis to help the kinders to understand their school years. Umbalo umboni so panya panya wase kobo kobo. Kobo kobo essential oils lishi shini lezi ndalo ela chila sungu lo kukukuzele la kunge na kwa bandu abashele lekele ngu kwe mbali kwe zeo lima ze oil yo tit olu pezo. Ukuveli sa kwe oil yo tit olu pezo lo kune ndleko ezi pezo lo kakulu yae ezi funa isi klasemali yo kukala ulimu. 
umbutho juju wamisela ukuqukuzelela ukuhlanganisa imali kunye nezakhono ukukhawulezisa ukuxhobisa nokuphuhlisa amafama asakhasayo ngezakhono zobugcisa ezifanelekileyo nezifunekayo ukuvelisa i-oil ngempumelelo umlimi ngamnye une hektare ezinhlanu yaye zohlulwe phakathi kwenhlobo ezimbini ze-oil yodidi oluphezu i rose mari ne rose geranium eyona njongo yethu iphambili kukwenza umahluko ekuhlaleni eli shishini lisezilalini apho kunqongophele amathuba emisebenzi eli shishini lophuhliso kule ndawo lihlala lisilela kungoko sidala indlela enja yophuhliso oyakuthi yenze ukuba amafama endawo abengabalimi abazinzile bezityalo ze-oil yodidi oluphezu Injongo yethu kukunciphisa ukuxhomekeka kwezibonelelo zikarhulumente eluntwini social grants kwaye sinika abantu ithuba lokwenza ingeniso mali emakhaya besebenzisa izixhobo abasele benazo njengomhlaba kunye namanzi One of the most exciting opportunities we are currently facilitating is the development of the Koga Agritourism Route The idea is to create opportunities for local entrepreneurs in the ecotourism market. We partner with farmers and communities to establish this route. Let me introduce you to some of our partners. My name is Kriyon Katu. I'm one of the owners of Interbeni Farming. Um, Interbeni Farming is a citrus farm in the Gantus Valley area. The citrus farm was bought with 48 hectares uh, currently to date we have expanded that to 135 hectares in our season of 2017-18 we've received an award for a top producer for oranges that was done by a company called fruit data and that was compared with some commercial farmers in the valley from our expansion we've used our own proceeds our profits and we've managed to make a difference in some of our workers lives our main aim also is to make a difference in our community's lives the koga first nation development trust is a newly established development trust operating in the koga municipal area of the sara bartman district in the eastern cape The purpose of the trust is the community regeneration, development and economic advancement of the Khoi San Nation in the Koka region. The trust plays a wider role in the community while working closely with the Yumansdor Corporation Trust and other partners. Tourists can come and experience a rich culture firsthand with ethnic Khoi San tours. Ons het 'n baie interessante projek begin waar ons nou die baie boerdery as 'n kommersiële ehm um, geleentheid uitbrei na die toerisme gedeelte toe. Um, dit is basis om die om die belangstelling in die hening en baie te prikkel. Die oggendprogram is is lekker vroeg 8 uur gaan ons saam met die baie boer uit. Ehm um, hy gaan vir julle presies wys wat in daai kaste aangaan. Um, waar die koninginge is, hoe lyk die eierkies, hoe lyk die larwes, waar is die jeningbox, uh, wat is die natuurlijke vijande van die bui, hoe haal hy een raampie uit, hoe vervang hy een raampie. So, daar word visies die dag by je geboer en jy gaan vir die geleende kry om binnen in een box te kyk hoe die bui boere dan hulle dagtake verrug. So, kom kyk hier vir ons, ons wil baie graag julle ontmoet, ons wil julle baie meer van bui vertel. Moyo Kurderai is a third generation working strawberry and berry farm in the beautiful Gamtoes Vallei and one of the few farm to fork producers in the Eastern Cape. Moyo is driven by strong values and we serve and invest into our community and its people. We supply products regionally, nationally and globally. Our fresh frozen and dried berry range is a regular name on the menu list. Moyo became a household name with our well-known strawberry picking experience during the summer holidays. Visiting our farm also includes a culinary feast at the Berry Barn restaurant, which also serves as a private function venue with beautiful scenery overlooking the strawberry fields. 
we will soon have luxury accommodation on the farm to complete the tranquil and picturesque experience. Visitors can also enjoy breathtaking views of the Kamtuis Valley from the well-known Bergfenster, visit the historical Philip Tunnel and the peaceful strolls on the farm with wide range of bird species to be found. At Muayuk, our motto is passion-driven excellence. I trust that you could clearly see there are many opportunities for investment. You can invest in socio-economic development through the Co-op Community Trust. Please contact us to find out exactly how you can invest in community development.